All right, turning now to the latest on the shortage of baby formula here in the U.S. as parents scramble to get formula for their babies. The message the White House has for families as Congress announces a new investigation into the crisis. ABC's Rena Roy has more on the efforts to get formula supply back up to speed. Coast to coast, many stores look like this. Empty shelves and not much baby formula in sight. It has been very, very hard to find well, formula everywhere. Supply chain issues along with voluntary formula recalls cutting inventory nationwide by more than 43 percent. My sister picked me up some in Arvada yesterday. My dad up in Thornton the other day. ABC's Mary Bruce pressing the White House on when this shortage may end. Do you have a, a, even a rough guess of how long these shortages are going to last? What should parents be bracing for here? Well, we've already seen an increase in supply over the past couple of weeks. We're taking every step to increase that. So our message to parents is we hear you. We want to do everything we can. Federal officials urging states to allow families to use federal aid to buy more brands. They're also taking steps to import more formula and cracking down on price gouging. Not only can we not find it, but when we do find it, it's there's always a 20% markup on it. On eBay, one specialty formula for infants with a milk allergy now selling more than double its normal price. ABC News has learned the House Oversight Committee is also launching an investigation into the shortage. We are taking steps to correct it and we will make sure that it does not happen again. Abbott, the manufacturer of several popular brands, says it could take 10 weeks to get their products back in stores. For now, moms are trying to help each other out on social media, swapping formula, giving away extras, and offering to find supply in their areas. Critics say the Biden administration should have acted sooner to address this crisis. With no real end in sight yet, officials are urging people not to hoard. Companies like CVS and Walgreens now limiting purchases to three per customer. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.